What's going on everyone? A Fizzle here, tuning with y'all for this 35th installment of Monday Vibes for Monday, August 30th, 2021. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Hey, mine's okay. Not really much to write home about, but it wasn't a terrible weekend either. So, first and foremost, 2021 has been a tumultuous ride for you guy. Ups, downs, everything else in between. And then on top of that, we still got a third of a year left. September starts on Wednesday. So looking forward to this last third of the year. See how it's going to go. Am I excited about it? No. Am I worried? No. I'm just in between. First and foremost, I do want to say my condolences to everybody out there in Louisiana and Mississippi. Yes, I am aware of Hurricane Ida. I did not get around to talking about it early in the week because I wasn't aware of it till like Wednesday or Thursday. And I said, I guess I'll talk about it Monday vibes. By this point, Hurricane Ida had strengthened, went through Louisiana, through New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Lafayette and all that. And now it's weekend. Last time I checked, it was a thicker category two going through Mississippi, like just right outside of Jackson as I'm making this video. So, you know, my condolences to everyone who lost their life in the hurricane. I hope nobody did. And prayers to everyone who is going through that path. Like I say, you know, in Georgia, I don't experience a lot of hurricanes through this way. I have seen some, and I know how deadly they can get. So I'll tell people do not take hurricanes lightly. Do not. The Miami Hurricanes team, yeah, you can take them lightly. But the actual weather hurricanes, no, do not take them lightly because you don't know where it's projected to go you don't know how it can how bad it can get you know if you feel like you need to evacuate because it's a strong hurricane don't think twice about it evacuate you know because here's the theme about that you know materialistic things i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna take all my materialistic things with me if i get caught but no the point is materialistic things they can be replaced your life cannot be replaced. And I'll speak more on your life momentarily. So y'all just stay tuned. But yeah, if you feel like you need to evacuate, do so. Don't think twice about it. Don't give any second thoughts. Savor your life. You got a lot to live for. Savor it. If you feel like you need to get out, get out. If you want to risk it and go th ride through it, and hey, that's your decision. I just wish you the best. Now, in other news... This song I was aware of for the longest, T. Whitley, Jake Paul. I'm a little mad at myself. Why? Because I fell asleep during like the sixth or seventh round of this fight, man. And it was it was pretty good for the most part. I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of the uh, pre-fights, like the first three or four fights, and then they had the females fighting uh, Serrano and I forget how to check. Uh, big ass uh, Amanda Serrano. She got the dub last night. Big ups to her. She's kind of high too, though. So. Just kind of. And then it was the main event. And the reason I'm, I'm, so, I'm a little mad at myself for missing it, um, the six, uh, fell asleep in like six or seven round because I missed the judge's decision and all that. I had to go online about two something in the morning or three something, whenever I popped up overnight and just see who won. Cause I, I woke up in the middle of the night and like, God damn, I done missed the rest of the fight. I missed who won. But apparently Jake Paul did win by unanimous, uh, not unanimous decision, but he won by a judge's decision. I think two judges had him winning. And and that one judge had T. Whitley winning. And speaking of T. Whitley, this is an interesting point because I was thinking about that fight on Saturday. And then I went to listen to the I Beat Your Ass song, which was a funny song, you know, T. Woodley and Wiz Khalifa, they uh, made the I Beat Your Ass song back in 2018. November of 2018. And why is this significant? Because I'm gonna tell you why. I go back to the song, because I commented on it on YouTube, so I go listen to the one I commented on and I realized I had a couple of replies and one of the replies that really stuck out to me was the fact that T. Woolley has not won a fight since 
he put out that I beat your ass so they said this guy said that or his female I don't know who what the gender was but this person said that T Woodley has lost four fights in a row since putting out that song zero and four and I get it you know if you're gonna talk all this big bravado shit you gotta still be backing it up after the fact you can't go around and talk about whooping niggas asses and shit you know just because you're whooping niggas asses and then all of a sudden you put out that song you can't whoop anybody's ass anymore you can't do that so now t woodley is zero and five since he put out that beat your ass song and i think this first fight since after that was probably like early 2019 not a good look for t woodley i'm not a fan of his i'm not saying he sucks or anything i know i'm not saying i can't stand the guy because I never really heard of this guy until I heard that I beat your ass off. I didn't know he was a fighter until I was looking in the uh, recommendation section on that song. And found, that's how I found out he was a fighter. And I didn't think much of it. I didn't think look up his record or anything. You know, because me personally, I like to look up things and see are they really about that action that they talk. And T. Woodley, before that I beat your ass song, yeah, he was about that action. But since then, he has not done anything. He has lost every fight since that song put, was put out. So, but uh, big up to Jake Paul. On the other hand, you know, Jake Paul out to a good start. He's four and zero. Now, am I saying he's gonna be on the same level as a Roy Jones or Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson? Well, I don't even know. I don't think he's gonna reach that status. But to get into the world of boxing and win your first four bouts, hey, I salute that. And Tyron Willie is a USC fighter. Which brings me to my next point. Maybe y'all USC fighters need to start transitioning over to the world of boxing if you're just going to toe tails. You see what happened to Conor McGregor after he fought Mayweather? He hasn't been the same since. And I think T. Willie is done. I'm just going to be honest. I think he's done. I beat your ass on the transition over to boxing and you lose to Jake Paul. No disrespect to Jake Paul, but you lose to Jake Paul. There's no coming back for now. I think he's done. I think his reign is over, you know. He, it was a good run. It's just OV at this point. But we'll see what happens in the future, you know. I'm pretty sure he's going to find another fight to try to redeem himself, if he can redeem himself. Also, football is back, y'all. Yes! Y'all know the um, high school football is starting here like two weeks ago. College football started last weekend, you know, with YUCLA. I didn't really watch that game, but I knew they was playing. Nebraska and Illinois was playing yesterday. Not yesterday, uh, Saturday. So college football, week zero style is back, but the real college football starts this Saturday. Week one, I'm so excited. I'm not too excited because, you know, Florida's not really playing anyone significant. They're playing FAU. So it's an opportunity to get their feet wet, see what can happen between now and week three when they play Alabama. But you got some good games. Speaking of Alabama, they got Miami week one. Also, you got Georgia and Clemson. So, you know, you got some real good games coming up this week. See what happens there. And I don't remember what else, because those are the only two games I've been hearing about for the most part, just uh, Georgia, Clemson, and Bama, Miami. Now, I know I was playing Penn State in a couple of weeks, and obviously Bama, Florida, and Colorado, Texas A&M, I think that's our uh, week two. But Texas A&M will sting on Colorado. Colorado stinks right now. The Buffaloes, not the state, just saying. But yeah, and yesterday, NFL preseason came to a legit close. And NFL should be ashamed of themselves by letting the Falcons and the Browns conclude the preseason. Come on. But yeah, no preseason games this upcoming week. Matter of fact, everybody gets the week off. In which, in hindsight, if you're going to do an 18-game season, this upcoming weekend will be an excellent week to start the season. I don't know if it's because of Labor Day. I don't know. But, nonetheless, no NFL this week. Everybody taking a week off. And then next week, September 9th, the season begins. You know, Cowboys taking on the Tampa Sioux, Brown Fournette, Grunkineers. Tell me why I get, get that name down, Pat, by the way. Broncos are going up against the New York Giants week one. Also, you got the uh, Ravens and the Raiders. I think that's a Monday night game. Falcons taking on the Eagles. Steelers, I think they're taking on the Browns, I think. I haven't really looked at a lot of teams' schedules, so I can't really tell you raw off the rip. 
from memory who everybody's playing. I do know the Broncos playing the Giants. I do know that much. It's my team. I should know. I knew the Falcons playing the Eagles because that's all I've been hearing the last two, three weeks on social media until I took that break on Thursday. So I've been hearing it all. I know the Ravens are taking on the Raiders because the Ravens, I mean, not the Ravens, the Raiders take on the Steelers week two. And I know the Broncos play Ravens and Steelers back to back weeks as well, but weeks four and five. So that's how I kind of remember that the Ravens and um, the Raiders, I don't know why I keep on saying the Ravens. The Raiders start the season against the Ravens and the Steelers. But yeah. I don't know what to think of this football season. I honestly don't know. I don't do predictions anymore. I feel like it's, it's a waste. I'm just going to watch and just see what pans out from it. So that's that. But yeah, football season is officially here. No more preseason. As I said on NFL 2K2, the warmups are over. The team, well, the teams aren't set yet. They will be set tomorrow as they get down to the 53-man roster. But as of today, any game that's on that gridiron it counts now we can really get hardcore and talk our meaningful fucking shit and really go hard broncos went 3-0 on the preseason i'm not happy about that because i, I got this theory that teams are going undefeated in preseason they seem to suck in the regular season and i'm a little worried because the broncos could fall from the casualty but at the same time I'm not really worried because this defense does look great. You know, the defense is, you know, really stacked up. is prone to be a top five defense. The offense, you know, you got weapons on the receiving court. The running game is going to be stout with Javante Williams and company. Melvin Gordon is still here as long as he doesn't fumble the fucking ball this year. He didn't really do too bad um, for us last year. I, didn't, I don't recall fumbling that much, but, you know, different year. So we'll see what happens. And I know people are going to be eyeing in at that quarterback position. Right now, I think Teddy Bridgewater is leading the way. He's supposed to be starting week one. I don't know what it means for Drew Locker or anything. So we're going to see what happens the first couple of weeks. That way, you know, get our feet wet. The first three games are manageable. So Broncos should come out and win those first three games. Giants, Jags, and Jets. But you never know. You never fucking know until the game is played. That's why they play the games like Chris Berman used to say on primetime. That's why they play the motherfucking games because anybody can look good on paper. Anybody can look beasting on paper. But until the games are played, you just don't know. You don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that. And that's going to do it for the main topics. I really don't have anything else to say. But I do want to leave y'all with this. So enjoy life. And just remember, take care of yourself. Because no one in the world is going to care more about you than you. And you know, live your best life like Lil Duval said in 2018. And don't go back and forth with these niggas, man. Don't. If it's just something that's irritating you about your life, change it. You know, it's, it's not hard. You know, make the effort to change whatever's going on with your life. If you feel like things are not going right. If you're not happy with your life, you know, you feel a little depressed, like I've been last 15 years, go to therapy. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Matter of fact, I'm going to call, call this place up when I get off the phone with y'all with this Monday vibes. I'm going to call them up. I'm going to see what's good. I'm going to see if they can book me a schedule me, schedule me an appointment so I can talk to somebody. But yeah. If you're not happy... If you're depressed, if you're feeling you're suffering from PTSD, go to therapy, go to counseling. You know they both the same thing. Do that. You know if you can't afford therapy, because I understand people cannot afford therapy. You know it's it's costly. I get it. Sometimes they may take you may need actual insurance to talk to somebody. But if you don't have that, go to church. That would be my plan B for y'all. Go to church see if what can be done you know in, in the house of the lord talk to the lord you know that's always a good alternative if you can't go to therapy i recommend both i'm gonna do both because i i'm mean, gonna i am gonna continue talking to the lord but i seriously do need the therapy because i feel like if i don't get it you know i'm, I'm anticipating the worst and i know you know the worst is that and that's why i tell y'all go to therapy because 
I don't want y'all to go through, because I, I don't want y'all to go through a downward spiral, you know? I don't want y'all to just sit there and not do anything about it, and then your life just continues to spiral out of control, and you just get to the point where it, you're so far gone that you can't be saved, and you can just kind of go through a downward spiral, which could lead to your demise, which could lead to it in your life. I'm telling y'all, depression, PTSD, any of that, it is not worth losing your life over. You know, it's not worth committing suicide. Don't commit suicide or anything. It's not worth going through this downward spiral and losing your life over it. It's not. With that being said, you know, if you can save yourself, save yourself. Go to therapy. If you're injured, go to the hospital and try to get your injury fixed. Don't sit there and let it just linger on because then it'll get to a point where your injury cannot be fixable. And then... You're going to be wondering what else. So that's, my theme is, you know, live your life. Try your best to be happy. Try to be the best you you can be. If you're not happy, do something about it. If you're injured, you know, get your, you know, if you're injured, you know, go to the hospital. And the whole nine yards, you know, because this is real. No one's going to care about you more than you. You got to want to. Take care of yourself. And, oh, most importantly, don't go out of your way to make other people happy unless you're making yourself happy. Because if you can't make yourself happy, you really cannot make anyone else happy, you know? Because then you're going to have the, the woe me's and it's going to bring everybody else down around you. You don't want that. But yeah, and if you're not going to do anything about it, you know, if you're just going to be in your sorrows and all that, then don't complain to other people about your life, okay? Because we're not interested in hearing it. We don't care. And I'm trying to say y'all from complaining because no one wants to hear people complain, you know. Maybe because I was brought that way, like, you know, to deal with it, you know, don't sit around here and complain, you know. I just deal with it, you know. And that I think that's how I'm coming across, you know. These are the deck of cards God has delivered you when you was born. You, know, you got to realize life isn't fair. It's not always going to be fair. Things not always going to go your way. Sometimes you just have to deal with the situation at hand. This is it. This is how it's going to be. And that's that. So, and just remember, despite what I'm going through or what y'all may be going through, just remember, there's someone else that has it worse than you. You could be in a situation where you could be dealing with a person, a loved one, or a close associate, a good friend, that just passed away. My coworker passed away either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure of the day, but I know it was around that time last week. Hence why I'm wearing red today because, you know, red is our favorite color. And they want to do something at, at work today where everybody wear, wears red for in honor of her today. So, and I don't really wear red too tough. I'm going to be honest. Reminds me of Georgia Bulldogs. But I'm doing it for Oh, and one more five, thing. So. As y'all already know, yes, I did with Auburn on Friday. As y'all seen the 10-minute La Crib while I was at 17 and 16. I did do a vlog from when I was there. It's about 17, 18 minutes long. I will probably post it up later this week, probably like Wednesday or Thursday. I know my, uh, today I got to focus on the crib. Tuesday, I don't know what's going to happen yet. I'm still debating. But Wednesday or Thursday. Well, I, I actually know, do know what I'm going to do Tuesday. I'm going to work on my playlist. I haven't worked on my playlist in quite some time for iTunes. So like Wednesday or Thursday, I'll probably edit that and probably have that up for y'all. So y'all be looking out for that. I might be going to Macon this Saturday. It's not set in stone. It is probable right now that I'll be going, but it's not guaranteed that I am going to go yet. So that's up in the air. So y'all just keep an eye out for that. I'll let y'all know if I do go or not. Because it is supposed to be sunny here. And I might just head up Pine Mountain and go to the beach again. Maybe this time I give y'all a formative vlog to where... I'm not, you know, to where I'm not ranting over females or I ha and I have more time. So I'll probably do that for y'all then. I'm not sure if I'm going to go. We're going to see. One thing we can guarantee, I'm not going to be cooped up in the house. It is Labor Day weekend. I do want to try to have some fun. I had a good time at Auburn. I was had a great time, but I had a good time, you know. And I do want to appreciate everyone in Auburn. 
Sorry for trolling y'all for starters. I'm, I really am a Florida fan. I was showing y'all with the War Eagle stuff. But um, but I do want to appreciate everyone out there in Auburn for showing a feels a great time. Y'all were a lot of fun to, to kick it with. Y'all were turned up to the max. I'm very proud of y'all. And y'all do put our city to shame. Our city don't know how to turn up like y'all do. And we got a, a college crowd around here as well. So there's no damn excuse. So I'm proud of y'all, and I'm looking forward to coming back to y'all city. I will be back, because one place I have not been yet was Sky Bar, and I'm looking forward to Sky Bar. I'm looking forward to see how Sky Bar really turn up, you know. So y'all be looking out for that. And Tuscaloosa, I'm coming to y'all town soon. I don't know when. I'm, I'm going to try to come up there on a Saturday. I'm going to have to come up there on a Saturday, obviously, because I can't leave from work. And then come up there because then I feel like I'd be forced to turn around. It's just like trying to go to Atlanta on a Friday night, knowing I work on Friday. So it's just not possible for me to come up there during the week. One thing I can do is come up there on a Saturday. Try to come up there when Bama was playing. Um, during Bama game day when Bama's at um at home. Not really during the road games. I, I want to see how Bama fans turn up. I want to see if Tuscaloosa can outdo Auburn. That's my main objective about going up there. I don't know when that's going to happen. I'll just keep y'all updated. And same goes with Birmingham. I definitely want to come, come up there too. Because I, I don't think I've ever been to Birmingham. Not really to kick it or anything. So I definitely like to do that. Maybe um, I know the Magic City class is up there. Alabama a and versus Alabama State. Maybe I may come that weekend during the uh, uh, Magic City Classic. That would be nice, you know. Be around um, my fellow peoples, you know, the HBCU style. <laughs> And yes, as of now, I'm still planning on coming up to Atlanta September 26th. The Kicking with Sports Live in the ATL at the Hooters. One that him and Way High went to for his birthday. So I'm planning on doing that as well. So y'all just keep your eyes and ears open for what's going down in the world of AFL's productions. Because y'all not going to hold me back. Y'all not going to hold me back. The AFL's productions train will continue to roll on. So, and I feel like I got gray in my beard my newly shaven beard for Thursday. But y'all be easy. I'm going to get up out of here. Until next time, it feels like sign out. Y'all have a great week. Enjoy y'all Labor Day week. And I'll see y'all next week for episode 36, I think. Yeah, this will be episode 36. Now, here's the thing. Labor Day is next Monday. So I'm probably going to do like I did for Memorial Day, where I'm probably going to record in advance. Like, probably do the, the Monday vibes, either Saturday or Sunday. And then just try to get in my laptop, then start editing. And I might just post it up on Tuesday. So y'all be looking out for that. And I'm going to leave now. So till next time, A-Fizzle signing out. And I'll hide y'all.